And this right here is a canned rosemary garlic butter that we did ourselves. This was just last weekend. Rosemary garlic butter ready to go. And once you can it, you can keep it in the cabinet and it stays stays nice and soft. Should stay nice and soft, ready to spread. Yeah. Sure Y'all are thinking, oh dang, that looks real real healthy right there. Just a mess of butter on a piece of bread, and you're absolutely right. It is not healthy at all, and I'm gonna eat it anyway. Because because I like it. Because I like it. I'm doing this with one hand. I don't know how well it's going. I might put... These are some... These are some kind of thick pieces of bread. I might put even more on them. But I'll wait till I turn the camera off. So y'all rude asses will quit judging me. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to O'Leary's Garden, where life is a garden. And here we are on episode two of why you should be growing your own food. Productive laziness. Yes, you heard me correctly. So, here's what we're having for dinner now. We're having raviolis. But that is going to be made with scratch-made raviolis and scratch made tomato sauce from our garden so miss the lovely miss naomi has been hanging out with me too long so when she made these delicious ricotta filled scratch made raviolis she made enough for five or six meals that we could throw in the freezer as well as, as having all this homemade tomato sauce now you don't even have to well, we're talking about growing your own food right now, so we'll stick with that. So now we have a semi-homegrown, at least a portion of it was grown in our backyard. Home-prepared meal on hand anytime we want. Right? Now, these raviolis are a damn good way to go. But say you just want to do it with some sketty. There you go. Or meatballs. You can make your own meatballs. You can buy them in the store, whatever you want to do. Maybe this one's more along the lines of why you should learn to preserve food, which you'll naturally do when you start growing your own food because you don't want to see that stuff going to waste. So my point to you is productive laziness. So if you decide you want to try your hand at making some homemade raviolis why not make a mess of them so you can throw some in the freezer and then you can have them anytime you want so you you got to put in a little bit of work it's not that much i don't know about these i didn't make these she did she's the baker the pastry kind of person of and it doesn't look fun to me uh, but she does she does fantastic with it i love canning i love canning because i i just I can't get enough of that view right there. And I don't even, honestly, I don't have much. <laughs> I wish there was more in there, but it beats nothing. So get your ass going. Get your ass some food in the glass. Right? I think. Heard that somewhere before. Right? I don't know. So anyway, you get bored, or not bored, but lazy. You don't feel like cooking. You don't feel like doing some of this mess. You can go into your cabinet, and you can grab some food that you made. You already made it. You still cook dinner. You did cook dinner. Right? You did. You just did it, in this case, last month. In this case, case of these... These are probably almost a year old. So, average that out. We, we cooked dinner six months ago, huh? But it's still perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I 
Okay. There you go. You should be growing your own food. You should at least be putting it away like this, being smart, and making sure you got some stuff on hand. Make it easy on yourself. Take a take a little bit of time. Take a little bit of time over the weekend. Just a little. Don't even take a whole day a week. A couple hours. A couple hours. I mean, this tomato sauce, you know, you get it simmering, and it sits for a good while. You can walk away. You can walk away. Take care of yourself. Get back home. All right? Thanks, guys. Take care. Oh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoy the work we're doing here at O'Leary's Garden, please do your Amazon shopping at www.olearylink.com to help support us. It would mean the world to us, and we can keep making these delicious raviolis and keep showing you and rubbing it in your face and making you want to do it. So I want you to do it. Make your own tomato sauce and raviolis. Do it. Get off the butt. All right, guys. Take care.